Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Outlander. We're at season 1 episode 16 which is the last episode of season 1. Um, I'm excited but I'm also stressed because I fear that this episode will be a continuation of um, the last one. And with like what was about to happen, I'm um, not sure I'm quite ready to like jump into it. But so I know what the show is capable of and it's still like, it's an amazing show and they're just, there's something about it. It's like crack. I just, I can't, I can't stop. <laughs> I really can't stop. But yeah, season one has been amazing and I just can't wait to watch the whole show and just like watch it again after <laughs> so okay i'm stalling <laughs> let's just uh let's just get into it shall we oh this one is titled to ransom a man's soul you owe me a debt After that, even though Frank, Frank is not Randall, I feel like there's no turning back. She can't just be like, oh yeah, they're separate persons. No, no. It's come to a point that like, he's not just Black Jack, the asshole, the ancestor who's an asshole. It's like, no, I, you can't, no. For me anyway, Frank, he's dead to me. What did Randall do to you? What didn't he do? Too much. And not enough. Yeah, he was begging him to kill him in the end, right? Magnificent creature. He just fucking puked. It's like kissing a corpse. I know you can do better. Oh. 
I just want this to be a pleasant experience for us both. What the fuck, man? Take your pleasure to be done with it. One way or another, I will get a response from you. She says, lad, the laudanum will help you sleep through this trying time. Whiskey will do me fine. Jamie had said to me once, I can bear pain myself, but I could not bear yours. That would take more strength than I have. He was right. It did take strength. I hoped that each of us had enough. months ago I was on holiday with my husband in Inverness in the year of our Lord 1945 I told him everything I happened upon oh my God. standing exactly like my husband back 200 years old he attacked me whatever your sins might be have faith that they will be forgiven. Et fili, et spiritu sancti. How can I save a man that doesn't want saving? your limit yet. What should I do with you? Why is he like... What is her power possesses you even now? What is her secret? Tell me. Are you mine? You. Yes. Only you. What is he doing? Show me your mind. That's what he said. Do it. Walter's going to find a boat for France where you can forget this ever happened. Tell me what I can do to help. Jamie. Put me out of this black misery. Jimmy, I don't mean it. It's not a matter I wish to discuss. Give it to me. I won't. Why does he want to die so badly? He's been tortured. Raped. Isn't that reason enough? If it comes to the time when he's past the point of healing, I'm saying that maybe the only way to save Jamie is for someone to step into the darkness with him.
Ready then. Oh, oil of lavender. It smells familiar, doesn't it? What are you doing? Why can't you look at me? Look at me. <laughs> Do look it! at me! No! No! Why he I was wondering because first he wanted he was hallucinating Claire because he he just like he wanted it so bad to be her like rescuing him I guess or just like when looking over and he fucking used that after because like he's exhausted he's been physically and psychologically exhausted and he used that to make him, like, think of Claire while this was happening. To make it easier for himself, I guess. He's a monster. <laughs> She's that it's working. Self, Claire. It felt so good. I could not be your husband any longer. And I will not be less to you. You did what was necessary to survive, that's all. No, no, he broke me. He broke me, Claire. He knew it, we both did. You are my husband, James Fraser. How dare you give up on me now? You swore to me, you, you promised me the, the protection of your body if need be. Well, Randall had your body. But I'll be damned if he has your soul as well. And we are meant to be together. It's the only explanation I have for all this. It's the only way I can wrap my mind around what's happened all these past months. But it's all been for you and me. How can you have me like this? I will have you any way I can. Always. You got him out of me. I get all mad. Like a fucking parasite. That's right. 
rising Clodden. The end of the Highland culture. What can we do but play our part? So we could stop it from happening. The rising Culloden. What if we could stop all of it? The rising starts with Prince Charles. And right now, the Bonnie Prince is in France. I believe we can do anything we want. Just as long as we're together. I've been wondering how to tell you this. Oh, that Frank was... Matt assures me that once you're underway, you'll be too seasick to have a conversation. What is it? I'm pregnant. But... You said you were unable to. Apparently I was wrong. Are you happy? I am. I never thought I'd be able to see such a thing again, but yes. 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 I'm very happy with Pete Sassana. to begin. <sighs> okay. First of all, this episode was just so well done. Like the choices they made of having us rescue Jamie from the beginning and then seeing everything that happened instead of seeing what happens and then rescuing him and then dealing with that you know it just um i love that choice i think it was the right choice for the story they were trying to tell and you know despite everything we saw which was horrible it was so horrible and to see like how broken he was you know he he just didn't want to be here he wanted to die because that's how he felt inside he felt empty and just he felt like he was already dead basically that scene between jamie and claire was so beautiful but so heartbreaking at the same time just to see him um how ashamed he was and like he didn't have to be ashamed but we have to understand how he felt and uh yeah but you know i love claire so much i i really love her like she's an amazing woman she's an amazing partner she's just amazing all together and she would never give up on jamie and she she never did she never will and the love they have for each other is just so pure. And she was the one to like make him understand that like it's me and you and like whatever comes up, we'll face it together, but I will never abandon you. And I guess that gave him the strength to be like, and for him to be, you know, when he said, uh, he didn't brand me like I did it myself. It's like, yeah, you did it yourself, but he made you do it. It's not like you you proposed it. You weren't like, oh, you know what we should do? Yeah. 
You know, it's it's still by ex like he did it to you still. Like in my book, he did this to you. It doesn't change anything the fact that you took it and you did it. It's for him it means something. For him it's significant, but from the outside it's like no, nah, I don't see it. I don't see it as him doing this to himself. But I don't know. I guess maybe he sees that with the whole situation. You know, he's the one who told Randall, let her go and take me. So like he proposed it. So maybe in his mind, he's like, I did this to myself. It's my fault. When like, no. No. <sighs> At some point when he kept... Like right before the scene where he explained what hap what happened, um, Claire had her hair tied up and it just reminded me of Randall in the beginning when he tied his hair. And I was just like, they have like the same like ponytail, I guess, low ponytail. And they both have like curls. So I was just like, they have like a similar hair. This episode, so I was just like, maybe it plays. And turns out that he did like use he used lavender. He got into his mind when he was very vulnerable psychologically and physically. Like he was exhausted. Like I said, he was he wasn't there. Like he kept hallucinating, and he took advantage of that and made him go to his happy place and did what he had to do and like he said he made love to him and for Jamie he was thinking about Claire and I don't know like I <sighs> Randall is he's one of the worst characters that I've seen on like any show he really is like he is despicable and like there's no redemption for him I feel like like there's nothing to do for him he's you know to ransom a man's soul like he he lost his a long time ago and there's no going back he is disturbed it would be really weird if we just like start season two, they're in France and like they're okay and he has no effect whatsoever of what happened. Like that would be really weird. And um, from what we've seen of the show, I don't think that's gonna happen. I think we're gonna deal with his trauma, which is significant, but he will be able to make it because he is very, very strong. He knows he's got it in him and he's got Claire who loves him so much. <sighs> and now she's pregnant. And you you remember when I said I want that for her? So like I will choose to believe that it will happen because I see that she wants it. Like if she didn't want it, I wouldn't be rooting for, for like her to have a kid. But if she believed if she believed she couldn't have children, but she wanted some, I'd be like, it could happen for her. It should happen for her. And it did. Oh, God. I'm so happy. And yeah, when, uh, after that episode, I was like, you know what? I don't think it's going to happen now, but it'll take us by surprise. When she gets pregnant, we'll be like, oh, holy shit. And uh, she didn't even... You know what? I just realized like she didn't even use that to bring him back. You know, she didn't even say like, I need you to live for our kid. And he's like, say what? She didn't, she, just their bond was strong enough to like, at least for now, to just like pick up the pieces and just move forward without like, acting like nothing happened because that just wouldn't be healthy but she's pregnant they're going to friends they're together they're alive his hand 
will be okay. I'm really excited for season two. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first season with me. I sure did. Thank you so much for watching. Um, bye bye.